Hello everyone. Today we are going to install SAP EY5 tools to our Eclipse system. For doing so, we need Eclipse and I am going to install Eclipse Juno version. Basically Juno, Kepler and Luna. All three of it provides SAP EY5 tools installation. I am going with Juno version go to google.com type here eclipse juno download and click on this link click on eclipse IDE for java e developers and you will see here your download links if you are using mac or linux just click with your system and I am using Windows 32 bit so I am going with it here I am getting the mirror from Taiwan from where I can download this Eclipse version you can download from these different mirrors so I am going with the default one and after clicking on this your Eclipse Judo uh, download will start I have already downloaded it so I am going to cancel it if your Eclipse doesn't start click here and your Eclipse will be started so I have already downloaded the Eclipse JE Juno uh, this is downloaded in compressed version just right right click on it and extract all after that your file will be extracted in a folder and go to that folder I am seeing Eclipse application here just double click on it run it first time it will ask you for creating a workspace do so and after loading all of it you will see a welcome page like this just cross it so our Eclipse has been installed to our system. Now we need to install SAP UI5 tools. For doing so, go to help, install new software. Here you can install your different software. So we are going to install SAP UI5 tools from website. Here you can install from the local file or archive files. And we have to give a name here just give SAP UI5 and for providing the location just again go to Google and type here SAP UI5 tools click on the link copy this link and go to Eclipse paste this link here I am working with Juno version so I am going to type Juno here if you are working with Kepler or Luna do so click on ok and here you will see a bunch of list in which we need just two of them SAP need Weber gateway productivity accelerator GWPA and UI development toolkit for HTML5 basically we need this one from this list but I am going to install all of it and install this UI development toolkit for HTML5 click on next and Eclipse will check the requirements and dependencies of these tools and after that you will see the list which are going to be installed currently I am unable to install these files because I have already installed the so for in your case the next button will be enabled click on next after that accept the SAP license agreement and click ok your installation will uh, start in middle of it you may or may not uh, get a pop up just click on ok and Eclipse will ask to restart just restart the Eclipse again you will see the welcome page cancel it 
or checking if the SAP UI5 tools has been installed or not. Just go to help about Eclipse and installation details. Here you will see all the list which has been installed to Eclipse. Here you will see toolkit for HTML5 and toolkit for integration gateway. Means our tools has been in installed. There is another way for checking it. Go to file, new and other. Means if you are able to create, create your application in SAP UI5 means this has been installed. Just drag it down and you will see SAP UI5 application development link. Means I am now able to create my SAP UI5 application. Sometimes you will be unable to download the tools. Uh, I remember first time when I was working with SAP UI5 I have no idea of Eclipse and I have no idea of this SAP UI5 so it took two days to install the same because at that time I was working from office and I didn't know that my office is too restricted for all these uh, outside softwares and all of it for doing so if you are working from your office or somewhere else if you are unable to install it just click on windows go to preferences and click on general tab and double click on network connections here you will see active provider currently direct is selected here because i am working from home right now uh, if you are unable to download the sap ui5 tools click manual here all the checkbox will be selected click on http and provide your host and port number here if you don't know how to get your host and port number go to your internet options from where you can get it or just go to any of your browser like go to internet explorer click on options then internet options connections and LAN settings click on this checkbox and you will be able to see your address and port number and just paste that host and port number here and click this checkbox and provide your valid user and password and now do the same for HTTPS leave socks as usual we don't need it click on apply and ok and after that you will be able to download your SAP UI5 tools so this is for today next we will meet in our next video with our first applications using SAP UI5 tools thank you for watching